Alright, so, Azeroth versus Empoleon. No idea how this matchup goes. I'm assuming it's yeah. not good for Empoleon. <laughs> if I were to guess. That's a safe thing to assume. If I were to guess. However, um, Paper Sack does traditionally not mentally do well against big damage characters, um, especially playing a soft character like Aegis Slash, so mm -hmm. see if she can keep up the mental fortitude to make sure she can keep this employee on out. Sticking with the Mega Ray. She naturally has a really defensive place out already, so um, she's probably going to be able to work around um, Heavy Boy wanting to keep himself at a distance, so she can she can work around that. Right. Going straight in with the Hydro Cannon. Oh, I wonder if he was like intentionally trying to proc the um, parry there, because there are like some characters who can like proc it and punish it, like uh, Scizor Cam with his bullet punch, like he can purposely proc it and then him with a silver wind. Oh, I think it's a messed up actually. Alright, running Mega Ray still. Um, she's been really um, going on the Mega Ray and Mimikyu train. How do you feel about that? Like those two supports? Yeah, I, I just don't know how how with Age Slash. I think it's just kind of. Depends on the matchup. <laughs> just, wow. just sitting there like, uh. <laughs> I think she really favors um, Mimikyu. Like, I think she likes to use that defensively because it, it does a lot of chip damage and really um, causes a huge um, damage. What? Wow. What was what? Wow. What even? <laughs> what even was that? That was stupid. Poyon what in the world? <laughs> what in the mid. world was that? How did eight eggs hit? Farther than Steel Wing. <laughs> How does it even happen? This, this is, is privilege. <laughs> Ooh, I like that cancel get out there. No, uh, I find it interesting how like Aegis have like found ways to work around Emola because I know like early on people are like, saying Emola just shuts down Aegis, but like he has a lot of ways to work around it. Mm -hmm. Going first, Pokemon. Oh, go straight in! Confirm, that was gonna be big damage too. Hawking did not go for the first confirm. Oh my god, that did a lot. <laughs> yeah. Didn't get the wall spot, unfortunately, but... Oh, she did the wrong oh, one! No. Oh no! It's a free punish. Alright. Oh, yeah. That's I think the ice cream's gonna hit. Is that perfect? Oh, oh yo, man. okay. Heavy Boy was a perfect to end that round. That was a nice and quick. Yeah, it was. And it wasted out of the paper's burst too. It's really cool how he did that combo, because that stuff is hard. Yeah. That stuff is hard to do with Empoleon, so he's been really, really working on it. Really glad to see, like, more, uh, some people, like, picking up Empoleon. Such a head boy, because, like, he's been playing Gengar on Machamp for so long, and this is just a completely new character, and he's really loving it, so. Right. Going with the Aqua Jet. Alright. Here comes a Mimikyu. Keep her a little bit safe, but a shield's not looking too good. Nice mm. Iron Head over the Ice Beam. Even that, that missed. And that miss actually that hurt hurts the point because he really can't challenge a, if she's in that range. Like she can't whip, she can't whip punch there. Mm -hmm. Oh, the patience! Yeah. The patience. Waiting just past that awkward moment where oh, I gotta make a move now, or something like that, and just waiting for that and right. optimizing it. That's good because she was keeping herself out of two wide range. So even if she did shield, she couldn't punish it. So nice solid win from Paper Sack, but getting a. Oh, that explains oh, that see. explains that random burst. Yeah. Okay, if that's the case, that's very nice adaptation from Paper Sack. That's yeah. the only mistake I saw. Okay, sure. very nice adaptation. That oh good. All right. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, that was a really nice adaptation there. It worked <laughs> with that. That that um burst. That was, I was like, that doesn't seem right. Like, right, right. Like, she knows she wasn't in a shield form, that wouldn't work, so that explains a lot. Alright, so hopefully, it wasn't holding her back too much, but she still won, so let's see how Paper Sack Unchained does. <laughs> oh, the sword has been unsheathed. Unsheathed. How do you sheathe a sword like that? Like, the, hip, the bottom is like too big, it's just <laughs> yeah, really true. loose at the top. You're <laughs> not supposed to think about that. <laughs> So, starting off, going a bit more aggressive. Nice Aqua Jet there, capitalizing on the really, really minus frames of Flash Cannon. Got that deep off now, too. Uh, yes. Oh, no punish. Just playing around, trying to find openings. Yeah, and here, you're gonna get see why the miss is not good. Like, he couldn't really challenge much there. If she went for um, counter or King Shield or anything like that, 
he will have just gotten hit. Or he really has to be careful and has to respect it. Working way out of the corner, but that's going to whip punish there. I like how um, Hirisak is taking advantage of um, Heavy Boy's kind of impatience because um, she's just sitting there in shield face. She wasn't even doing anything. She was just waiting for um, him to press a button so she could get mm -hmm. a free attack buff. Right. Taking great advantage of the situation. Ooh, Ooh she went for it. All right. Call out. Nice. Bam. Okay, that's a knowledge right there. She's got a bit of a health deficit to take that risk. I'm <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Alright. Go for the Mimikyu this time around. Doesn't really wanna she wants to hold on to that first, it seems. Yeah. Gaining close. Again, look at that. She's just taking advantage of uh Heavy Boy being impatient, getting her own free attack buff. And that's one of the long longer lasting ones I think A Slash can get is off of that proc. Ooh, okay. Give the snag the iron head there. Nice flash can in there. Nice. Good call. She's really working on all these projectiles that Heavy Boy's thrown out. Oh yeah. Real, really intelligent. Oh, oh nice. Again, the knowledge. Very good jump. That's yep. Good confirm there too. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah, she's really, really um. She seems to know a lot about this matchup, which is interesting because it's kind of an obscure one. But she's like <laughs> doing a lot of knowledge, and, like just being very patient and working off of Heavy Boy's impatience. Just keeping them out now. Mm -hmm. Alright, nice use of defog. Very spacing there. She's trying to keep herself just within the edge of Aqua Jet, like where it's like, you know you want to do it. You wanna <laughs> you wanna Aqua Jet me, but that's exactly what she wants to do. Oh man. Alright. It's gonna be the option. Oh no, that could be bad. Oh yeah. Going for the Molga. Oh they they're both one like one hit away. Oh man, this is scary. That could be a shield break. Oh, oh she knew she had to go yeah. for that. She went for she, she had to choose something. Yeah, yeah she, had, her, she kept her shield up. That will have just been broken. Oh, just out of range. Oh, this is scary. Yeah. Nice, and Good that's counter. it. Mm. Man, I really, I really, really appreciate how it, um. Paper Sack was really working around Heavy Boy there. Like she, oh, yeah. she was just baiting him into doing anything, which is interesting because. Um, usually Empoleon's the one baiting people into doing stuff, but yeah. she was like just saying, you want to offer me right here, and that's exactly what I want you to do, and she she was ready for it, so I really appreciate that play there. Also, like, stage position-wise, she was always in the center. Yeah, she never put herself against the wall. Right. It's really, really good, and it's exactly what you want, because the second you go against the wall, you have nowhere else to run, He's you're right where Empoleon wants you. So, that was really, really good. Because mm -hmm. the last thing Empoleon wants is them to back up just enough out of Aqua Jet range, and when you're against the wall, you don't have that option anymore. Right. So... Really, really good stuff. All right.